guys, this is Joy, and this is take two. I am using two sketches from Follow a Sketch February. The first sketch is this one, and it, that's going to be my left side. And um, I am using Gnomes from Spring. This is the sticker sheet that comes with that pack, and I will be using this paper. And also, I'll show you the other um, papers that I am not using today, but I will use them later. So just like the Gnomes for Winter, we have the seasonal page on this side, and we have the cute little gnomes on this side. Um, it also has a plaid. I'm using, the zip, I'm using this paper today, and the zip strip on the back side, there is a stripe. Um, but I chose not to use that and so with no further ado, I'm going to go get started. This will be more of a process video. Normally I I prep most of it and it's basically showing you the layout but today um, because I was very strategic in how I used my paper, um, I thought I would go ahead and share a little bit more than what I normally do. So this is the sketch that I'm using and um, the first thing that I did was I gutted my paper. I'm using evergreen as the base. I plan on using evergreen. I also use evergreen for the photo mats. So what I did to save paper, so I didn't, I actually saved two pieces of paper this way. So what I did was I gutted my paper, which means I, t I put it in my trimmer and I, um, I trimmed it one inch and stopped and then um, one inch and stopped and then I, did one inch this way and one inch this way. And so that is called gutting your paper and that way you can save paper. So this was a 12 by 12 that I gutted. And this is also, this is a 11 by 11. And I'm probably gonna regret not grabbing my ruler, but I am not going to start this again. So um, this is a fun, uh, some of the words on here is the grass is greener, rainbows, bloom and grow. Oops, that is not a I'm having adhesive issues so I'm going to go ahead and put my adhesive down and I'm putting it close because I don't want my adhesive to be on well, it's kind of like adhesive with a drunken sailor this is why I don't usually do process ones is because okay so I'm using this side and on my sketch I had and I'm going to take my rub and remove eraser. I got a little bit, I was too aggressive with my glue. So on this layout, they have the strips going this way. I am actually going to have my strips going on the other side because um, of the layout that I, the few things that I decided to do. So this is a four by six. I'm going to kind of, I'm going to place everything down kind of, and then I'm going to make a final commitment. So here I'm going this way. I'm having it this way. So their um, layout, um, there's doilies on my right hand side. So I decided I would put a shamrock doily on this side as well. And um, one of the tricks for making your um, layouts look good, I'm going to move this up a little bit so you can see a little bit better, um, is whatever you do to one side. Go ahead and do it the other. And this is especially true because these are these are actually um, a two one single page layouts. And I don't really do single page layouts too much. So I am taking two. I'm I'm taking the sketch from day three and also day thirteen, which hasn't happened. So I'm both I'm behind and ahead all in one one day. That's, that's the only way I'm going to ever be ahead. So I'm going to set these like this. When I decide to glue these down, I am not going to be, I'm going to leave things loose because I'm going to be tucking things underneath. So I have this cute little gnome. Isn't he lovely? So he's the snow guy. He used to be skating. I want, you can't really see him, so I'm going to show you him. Um, he used to be skating, and so I am, I cut off his skates and um, so the the die cut that comes to this you can see 
this is what I cut him out with. And you can see there are different parts. There's his little skates that I cut out. And his whole, this is, you cut, I cut out this full color in his pinkish color. And then there is, this part was his little green outfit. And I added his mustache and his beard. So, and, and this die cut is quite large. Um, my gnome is actually about four inches. And, and that's still available. Um, and I will put that on my website if I figure out how to do a link. So my little, they say the secret to um, making things look good is you want things to touch. You don't want them to be like totally standalone. So I am going to kind of put my lucky, and I don't even really care if it's a little bit crooked. So I have, I'm going to decide whether I want that, and now I'm going to put my paper pieces. So um, using my um, leftovers from my paper being gut, I, I have these. And I'm going to just kind of stick them in and decide which ones I like. And then I'm going to commit and put them down. And you can see I'm following the, the pattern pretty closely to what they have. I am not going to put the title over there because my title is going to go on the bottom. And I'm just kind of, uh, and these same colors are going to be on the second page. And I'm sure hoping that I have not buried that. So this one comes out, and actually this one is supposed to be this right here. This is another, so I just did this one at two inches. And then I'm going to put a green one. So I used three different greens. And this layout, okay, that's, this one comes out a little bit more. This one comes out that way. This one, it doesn't have to be exact. You could use tags, I, I saw on, um, so you can post what you've done with this layout. And several of the girls that were participating um, used, um, I keep talking <laughs> too crass. This should be this should be interesting because I I really can't multitask. Um, they used tags and I thought that would be super cute, but I didn't do that this time. I'm going to have this one go in a little bit closer. This one so it's kind of supposed to be kind of stair stepped. What do you think? Mm, I just don't like that. That's and then I've got some, I have, instead of flowers, of course, I'm using um, clovers. Got to put my guy down here. Now I'm kind of wishing that I, um, the smart people know how to, like, fast forward. And so they don't, you don't have to sit and watch all this. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to go ahead and put these pictures down on this way because I, I do want them this way. So I'm going to commit. I am leaving one edge to the side because you never can tell if I'm going to change my mind. And it is. Okay. And I'm having them come this way. I don't have my pictures yet because um, I bought the hats for it. So do you make your layouts before? You scrapbook or do you scrapbook and then make sure your family has that activity so that's kind of what we're doing with this I went to Hobby Lobby today they had the cutest um, hats for um, St. Patrick's Day and they were 40% off so of course I had to get one and um, I got one for my grandson and my granddaughter and um, so I brought it home I was showing my granddaughter I was very impressed with myself and um, she said Grammy this is wrong information Irish people have red hair and the little hat you've seen the hats it had a blonde blonde hair coming down so she was quite perturbed that they weren't 
showing the red-headed Irish people. All right. I'm going to put that there. Um, and I would... Pro <laughs> maybe this is... Maybe I should do layouts on video all the time because, as you well know, I kind of will fuss with things until it's reached the place that um, three days have passed. <laughs> I still haven't completed a layout. So maybe I should do it. And I'm using these strips, uh, and you'll see when I get to the other page. When I, I, I actually glued all these down, then I took them up because, you know, this one should be more narrow, this should be narrower, and if I don't like it, and you guys aren't looking, I'm going to take it off, so. All right, so here are my strips. Um, I, I think I want that one to go there, and I think it needs to be, okay. So, my little, so the title of this is going to be, um, with the little gnome skating around, he'll say, Lucky and I Gnome It. So here he is. He is. And I am, because I don't have my pictures, I'm going to tape the bottom. And, oh great, my battery saver is on. Um, and it's going to consider having this device. So I'm going to just glue this on the bottom. I don't know why my Chrome, my computer is always running out of battery. So it's lucky and I'm, see how I'm overlapping this? So, um, and I might pop dot him. I think I'm gonna, I will pop dot him a little bit so he's a little two dimensional and then I can just go ahead and um, he can be up above. And so I'm pulling off the tape on this one, but not on the top one because I'm going to slide my pictures underneath when I am ready. So there we go with that. And now I am just going to embellish with my. So they have them right here, and I kind of like that. I'm going to pop dot that there so you can see that it's St. Patrick's Day. The Lucky is from um, Cricut Access. I, okay, so that's going to be St. Patrick's Day. And then we're going to have to cut out all these extra little... This one can go up here with the little hat. And all day long I tell children to um, charge their Chromebooks. It looks like I'm going to run out of Chromebooks. Okay, that goes there. And then um, we need the rule of three. Kind of a lower. I'm going to do a smaller one. I'm going to do this little tiny one it says pinch <laughs> that's kind of fun so this is oh goodness this cannot be happening to me I cannot be having adhesive issues again okay so I'm gonna put pinch right there okay so that is the completed layout those of you who know me who look at me woo woo okay so I'm going to slide that one over and so I'm using sketch number three this is from day number three, and it is a grid, and I'm going to use it instead of use. it could have been, been standalone, but I am using it as a grid layout. So I'm going to show you how, once again, I have gutted my paper. I gutted this one a lot, so I'll show you. I gutted this one just like before, and that's how I saved two sheets of paper. Otherwise, this paper, I, I have this layered so it would really be a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. This is what I'm working towards. So I got my paper, which means um, I, I cut around. I got it so that it's um, the inside measures um, 
10 by 10. So it gave me a, a piece of 10 by 10 paper, which of course I used for all the other stuff. And I'm just putting it on. You don't have to do this. Um, but I, it adds a little bit of stability, so I always put that on there. Okay, so my paper, once again, is cut. This one I cut at 11 by 11, just like the other one, because I'm have, trying to have some continuity here. I don't have my ruler with me, and I have a crooked eye, so bear with me now. Um, this is going to go on this paper. So I got this paper but I got it, um, um, so it's cut at 11 um, by 11, and then I, I got it at 8, eight by 8, so I, I cut down 2 inches, 2 inches, 2 inches, 2 inches, and that would give me some more of the paper, because I do like this paper, and I'm trying not to buy four packs of every paper pack that close to my heart sells. Um, I will say that I am a close to my heart consultant, I um, am, I consider myself fairly, you know, it, it's a good month if I can go two or three places and, and scrapbook. So there's several scrapbook groups I get with every month, um, and I'm located in Idaho. So if you do not have a, cons I'm close to my heart consultant, um, and you need something, just give me a ring. Okay, so this Remember, I, I got this, and then remember how I gutted the paper? Um, this is what it left me. So I was able to have all this paper for the middle without using a separate piece of paper. And um, when I cut it out of this page, it left me a 10 by 10, but I only needed a 9 and 3 quarters. So this is 9 and 3 quarters. So I am layering that up, and I'll show you. I'll show you this. Um, please set frame to 15 to 60, or viewers may experience lower quality. I'm just reading what it's telling me because it's going to die here. So I'm going. I'm setting this in. It's one and a half in, and one and a half in, and so this is from day two, but we're using it as a companion page. So I am setting this down um, and centering it at about one and a half by one and a half. I am using four four by four um, pictures. So they're going to be about a half an inch apart. I'm going to kind of, because I have a terrible eye. Oops, almost forgot the main thing. Sorry, folks. So, um, thank you. That it is removable. Before I put this down, um, remember my doilies. I'm going to put my doilies on, and this isn't in, this isn't the layout. This is just me being me. So this was also on um, Cricut Access. It is a shamrock doily. I cut it at uh, five inches, and I'm putting it on each corner, and actually I believe the sketch does call for a doily. We will see they, they used regular doilies. I'll show that to you. They used regular doilies, but I used um, shamrocks because um, I was all about that. Now I'm going to place it at one and a half inches um, to the side and one and a half inches down. So that's smack dab in the middle. I am putting my paper, my um, photo app, photo mats right here. This is probably crooked. I might have to straighten it because I don't have my ruler. And um, at some point, you may not see me anymore because my computer's going to die. So this is and we're going to add four pictures. So I can't wait to take pictures of my grand ones in their cute little hats that I bought from Hobby Lobby today. They look so cute. Okay. And I had to ask them, I'm going to ask them, it's like, I don't usually, I don't post pictures where people can see them. 
but I'm going to ask them since I will never tell you their names. If you know me, you know their names, but okay. So, um, the next thing that this layout does is it has them, we're adding different strips of paper and those strips of paper are going to, um, help us with, um, the continuity of the layout. So I'm using all the colors that I used on this side from this side, but instead of, um, ooh, where did I put those papers? Instead of having strips, we're going to tuck them in this way. And it looks like I may have, I may have to cut some. We may, you may really get a process video here. Um, all right. So here are some. I'm looking at my computer. All right. So on this layout, they have. Um, so the main, we have one tucked right here and that mimics what you see over here and they have one over, so this is one color and this one is over like this. Actually, this one is up here like this and I'm going to tuck and this is going to be over here and we're going to tuck and then this one is going to be up here and we're going to tuck it and then we will I'm gonna to have to cut some some sheets here then um, because I don't have oops this one is going to go on this side right up here like this and I th this shows the black I'm using the checked where the black is I'm going to use this one right here and it's a little bit thinner so we're going to tuck it in like this and we can tuck this one in like this so we basically have all the colors that we had on this one, on that one. So we're going to bring in this one. I think we're going to move this one down because I don't want them to be right up against each other. I am not going to glue them. I, you just you just trust me that I, I glued them right up. Oh, actually, this one can go goes here and this one can go right in here so so they're just adding little tucks of paper to give you some and this one is left blank which is okay and I'm actually going to glue the bottom first because I was um, I need to put the titles so it is going to say lucky and I know it okay. because we have gnomes of course and we have to be very punny when we are paper crafting correct so I'm gonna put this right here I'll tuck that It'd be nice if it were even. And if this, for whatever reason, gets cut off, I may just make it a part two so you can actually see what I did when I finished it. So they have X's, and of course, because I am. Oops, but I'm going to put my title on first so you can see that. So it says lucky. Now that I've got everything down, I can put this on here. I, I used a Zyron for this one just because I didn't think that she would want to um, see me do all that. And I gnome it. A N D G N O M E I T. So that's 10 letters. So 10 letters 
Um, so I'm going to start my fifth letter. So this is a real test of can you spell when you have to spell backwards. So A N D G N O. So I'm starting with the O at the six inch mark. So I this will be centered. So here we go. And I'm going to do it right here because my lucky is this is a smaller smaller one than Actually, this should be the end. The end should be at the six inches. So what I did was I counted my letters, and um, six is my mid mark. So I'm going to put gnome it. So I used a Xyron just because I didn't want to set and glue all these letters on while you watched. Look at me going 26 minutes. I Normally I will not go this long. I, I think I know I have a short attention span and <laughs> I think after 30 minutes we all get a, lot, a little lost. Here's the and I. I use lowercase, which, oops, forgot my G. And I forgot the word I, so this won't be perfectly, perfectly centered. Oops. I really am a great speller, and I, I can, and I can spell backwards. I think that's because I'm working so much in the library. Okay, so here is our layout, and um, they had a title here, and if I don't have, they have a title right here, and if I don't have enough pictures, I will make it a title, but I usually take a lot of pictures of us in our cute little hats, so here I go with, I'm just going to embellish I'm putting where they have X's, I am putting shamrocks. So I have one here between the two. I guess I, guess I can show you that. So I'm putting one over here. And I'm not putting it on the paper. It's a little bit bigger, but I just I didn't know what size I really wanted. So I just did a bunch of sizes. So here's a small one. We can put this one right. Uh, this guy can go right here. And he, I'm not popping popping him up. He can go right here. And then this one. Mm, look, I need a medium sized one. I think I'm going to do this one. And this one says green. Hmm. So I will put that, actually I'm going to put this one, no, I'm not. Okay, so before this goes much, much longer, um, I, the green is too distracting, so um, when I find more, um, I'll put him there temporarily. Okay, so this is my two-page layout, even though it's two separate layouts, I think it. I did a fairly good job of making it cohesive, and I like it. It will be a calendar one. Um, so I hope that if you are looking for a sketch challenge, this is a great fun a sketch challenge. So until next time, I will see you later, and we'll see how, um, if if I need to redo the last half of this video. Talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.